Hi, my name is Christine Feldman and I'm from Santa Barbara, California. I am a mother of two boys and a triathlete and a cancer survivor. When I graduated high school, I had a fifth grade reading level. Um, but I was very artistic and I knew I always wanted to be a graphic designer. And they didn't know what was actually going wrong in my head and then I was finally um, di diagnosed with severe dyslexia when I was in, um, a senior in high school. I was termed mentally, mentally retarded and so I didn't get the right type, of, right type of services that I needed. And yeah, I told I, I you know I was told I was never going to graduate from high school, go to college, ever become successful. And I always wanted to go to college. Um, and it's just something I always wanted to do because I always felt that if I ever had children one day, I wanted to be able to tell them I went to college. And it was very important to me. I just didn't have the grades to do it. Cal Poly, in conjunction with Cuesta, which is the junior college, said, "Hey." You go through Linda Mood Bell, you get your academics up here at Cuesta and at Linda Mood Bell, but take all your graphics and stay in the program at Cal Poly. I ended up graduating out of Linda Mood Bell after two college semesters with college grade reading level. And then I went into Cal Poly as a full-time student. I did graduate from Cal Poly, and I now own my own business, so I am successful. My life has been full of different challenges, whether they're health or academic. Um, but what I can say is after going through Linda Mood Bell in college, um, it really taught me about how I would approach my life. And then having children, I knew that the possibility was going to be rather great, that one of them would probably have some sort of learning challenge. My younger son um, has a little bit more of my genetic background. And he um, started exhibiting some of the same, um, same traits I did as in second grade. So he started doing things where um, I would notice that there were some of the things I used to do as a child on to get by. But then when I um, started seeing the way he was reading and the way he was doing, it was almost identical to myself. And so I didn't think twice and I said, well, you have to go to Linda Bell. I wanted to make sure that he got the help that he needed at a younger age and he would never have to experience any self, you know, really self-doubt as going into an adult and he'll, he would have the confidence to succeed. Uh, he was a little resistant at first because it was just, he thought it was going to be just more schoolwork. So um, it was during the summer and we, um, we just, we renamed it and we called it Reading Camp. I was going in Honors English. He started in Below Basic in every subject and he slowly has become um, increasingly getting into more and more honors class classes. I've had trouble reading when I was a little kid and I think next year I get to go into honors English. When he comes here he feels a accomplishment in, and he feels he can be himself and he can succeed here and it's helped him outside in, in his everyday life. Right. And one of the things that Linda Mood Bell taught me besides how to be a better reader and a better student is to overcome my adversities and try harder and believe in myself and believe in the confidence of being able to achieve something. For me, wanting to learn how to read and read well and graduate from college was so hard and such a big milestone in my life. If I could overcome that, I can overcome cancer and I have.